Welcome to Integrate Ed. In this episode, we will show you interesting ways to integrate Seesaw in your classroom. This free tool was originally designed for electronic portfolios to show student growth over time, but it's so much more. That's right, it is so much more. Hello, I'm Teresa Thomason. Today, we will show you Seesaw activities, connected blogs, and parent engagement. Let's get started. Have you checked out the Seesaw Activity Library? There are hundreds of templates that have been shared by educators just like you that are using Seesaw to add student voice and thinking to learning. These shared templates are editable, right down to the ability to add your own recorded voice directions. The Seesaw Activity Library isn't just for elementary students either. Check out these examples from a high school art teacher and a foreign language teacher. A 21st century skill that our students will need is the ability to use digital tools to collaborate with others and work effectively in teams locally and globally. Seesaw gives the teacher the ability to moderate student posts to a blog in a simple and safe way. Students easily publish from the journal to the blog by clicking the globe icon. Blogging gives students an authentic audience which encourages better work, opportunities for feedback, and a chance to showcase their learning. Once, you're, once you enable the blog, you can connect to other Seesaw blogs. Are you looking for a way to engage parents and center homeschool communication on the student and their learning? Seesaw does that too, for free. Do you have ESL students? No worries there, as Seesaw has translations for over 55 languages. Seesaw provides ongoing visibility into student learning. From video reflections to hands-on group projects, students add their work to their journal where family members can see it and their work only and leave comments of encouragement. Take advantage of the ability to share private messages with family members or make announcements to the entire class, students, families, or both. That's all the time we have for this episode on Seesaw. If you're looking for more resources, please check out the links in the description below and more on bit.ly slash Gaston Digital. That is B-I-T dot L-Y slash Gaston Digital. And remember to contact your instructional technology facilitator if you have any further questions. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we will see you next time. Curious about other uses of technology in the classroom? Check out these episodes for more ideas and visit bit.ly slash Gaston Digital for all of your instructional technology facilitators resources.